Hey, this is Kim with Texas Vintage Addiction, and I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, we are continuing to work on our buffet. It uh, does have um, Sunkist on it. And then, let's pull it in. Um, we have some faint stripes with a mixture of Sunkist and Inla Shore. We have some more stripes here with Sunkist and Inla Shore. Um, when you open the door, we have Harbor, no, a mixture of Harbor and Tide Pool and Tide Pool with a cherry blossom transfer. And on the inside of the doors, we have the vintage um, fluff floral transfer and the uh, Tide Pool uh, silk. So, but we are gonna continue. We're gonna add the Harlequin uh, stencil with uh, the same Endless Shore and uh, Sunkiss pattern. And then we're gonna be adding some decoupage. Um, we'll probably do the sides today. So thanks for joining me. Hey, Beverly, good to see you. So we're gonna get started with the Harlequin. Let's grab a plate. Um, this was probably, um, I think I did two parts in Le Shore to one part uh, Sunkist because I do kind of want it to be a little faint. Um, I do love silk um, that it does have that layer of. Uh, boss and a top coat in it and it's just really hardy it's hard to scratch um you can like i uh jabbed it with a screwdriver right here earlier trying to get the drawer open without any hardware so you can scratch it but it will definitely uh it's pretty scratch resistant otherwise so we've got our mixture of two parts in Le Shore uh, to one part Sunkist. And we are going to be applying it on the door, on the door facing and right here. It is a Harlequin. Um, it's the checkered. Um, my husband is handy for me. Uh, will you give me some tape, please? He's helping me uh, uh, answer any comments if I don't see them. Uh, so if y'all will let me know where you're from or um, what project you're working on. the scarlet brush but I am going to kind of pounce it a little bit that way I'm not getting a whole lot of bleed through um, with it being a color pretty close it will be easy to correct if I do 
um, get some bleed through. I can easily fix it. Um, if I were going for a bolder color, you would definitely. Um, oh, an interior door? That sounds like fun. And in Florida, would be a nice place to be right now. Is it an interior door conversion or are you just uh, sprucing up um, your, your doors? What's your plan for it? and the bathroom that I definitely want to spruce up. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do with uh, the kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets. Have you decided on a color? And start on this edge right here. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I move down. Oh, that would be pretty. That would definitely give it a fresh look. was um, a buffet in our entry hallway and the veneer started buckling and um, we ignored it and then it just kind of got worse and my husband tried to glue the veneer down but it was just kind of too far gone to save so he ended up sanding it off and we're just trying to update it a little bit. Since they're not the silk screen, the sticky back, you really want to make sure that they're taped well. Especially if you're going uh, with a bolder color, this is pretty neutral because we are going to layer uh, decoupage papers on top of the, this stencil. So it's kind of in the background. I forgot to block that. The more product you put on using stencils, the more likely it will bleed, so you want to do a little at a time. Buffet is a sun-kissed color, 
and we are just adding um, like a mixture of Inlish War and Sunkist because we're going to go back over this with decoupage papers. So this is just like layer one. We definitely want to add some interest to it. Hair. I am using the scarlet brush. I do have a full finish this section and I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry to go back over and finish the remaining pieces to kind of extend the pattern below here and on this edge. I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Um, so we will go ahead and start working on the decoupage, which would be layer two. is so helpful. I'm going to add decoupage papers to the bottom half. I may do some script stenciling across the top half. But for now, we're going to be working here. You get a close up shot. to use this paper and there's a learn a trick with this paper and so I'm going to show it to you because it's so easy this will work on a lot of the decoupage papers um, alright so I like this and my stripes don't go all the way down. I'm going to kind of fade them in. Uh, let me get the paper the way I want it. Maybe. Yeah. This pack does have three sheets in it. So I'm going to use one for each side. See if I can't get my uh, little work table in here. Sorry, my hand. There we go. Hey, Donna. Thanks for joining me today. All right. So with the decoupage paper, let's make sure you're in my view here. I decided, let me crease it. I think that'd be a good start. 
I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna start it right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that over. And maybe that too. I'm gonna cut my line. You can kind of see it more from the back. I'm cutting the dragonfly. That's no fun. I'm gonna have to get the dragonfly in this time. And my other piece right there. Alright, so kind of creased it to mark it off. And instead of cutting the rest, I'm going to go back over it with water and it's going to tear pretty easily. That's just going to kind of make it not as sharp edges and kind of help me blend it in. So I'm just going around what I want with water. And so I've done kind of up to there with the blue flower. So I'm just gonna kind of start tearing it. And they wanted a little bit more water. And this is going to make it easier to decoupage because I'm not going to get those really harsh lines. Continue around my blue flowers here. Mm. I think I want some of this gray outline here. So I'm going to go around there. Okay, probably I'm not going to want that in there, so I'm going to have to go around that. That's the beauty of these uh, uh, decoupage papers is you can use the whole square or you can use bits and pieces of it and focus on what you really want in there. This is just kind of softening up the edges kind of tearing it instead of cutting it gives you a softer border.
I'm gonna put, there's a little butterfly there. I'm gonna try to put him in since we cut the dragonfly. Y'all are being quiet tonight. You know what I forgot? I forgot um, some clear coat or gator hide. You want them too? Um, yeah. Um, I have used both clear cloth, uh, clear coat or gator hide still in this end. Um, I find either one works. section. And I'm going to start there. I always like to start with one piece and kind of anchor it in. hold it down and I'm just going to work in small sections and anchor it as I go along. was going on so smooth but I uh, tilted it. It didn't go up to the top. Now I'm going to start all over. Make sure I have it lined up where I needed it. There we go. So I'm doing a section at a time. This helps avoid any wrinkles. And I still cut it short, so I'm probably gonna have to um, cut a little piece to fit that. in it a little bit more because I got my edges right here.
So there's some darker edges that I don't necessarily want. I'm fleeing his uh, clear guard everywhere. So what I'll probably do is go back over it with my uh, Sunkist. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm, yeah. That's in my mixture right there. So I'm going to kind of pick up my Inla Shore mixture. And this isn't laying down quite right. It's got a buckle. Well, let's see if we can't smooth it. back to my sun kissed, kind of making this a little darker right here. One more spot that's in my mixture. So let me go back with it. All right, so that is one side of that. I can always go back. I've got a lot of flowers that I did cut out. So if I wanted to kind of fill in, I've got a, a black flower there. So why don't we just go ahead and add that. since I have paint sitting in my other one. And I'm just going to go around this one.
bump it up against the edge of the gut right there. Kind of like for it to go right there. again. to get it to the edge and that is it for that side and we would just repeat the same pattern on the other how am I doing on time it's 434 oh, okay so now I can come back and finish up my harlequin Once I add some decoupage onto the front, it's really gonna pop. I think it would be really pretty if I did a gold uh, script stencil on the front of the drawers. That would be really pretty. Or I could um, could use black as well, because there are some black accents here, and then when you open the cabinet doors. The knobs are going to uh, have some gold to them. Alright, so let's finish up the Harlequin. Just sitting in the in the water, so I'm gonna have to switch to a sponge. Not my favorite, but uh, so yeah, this is gonna be horrible. You do always want to make sure that you're using a synthetic. And on the edges of the stencil, try to want to match down as much as you can so it doesn't keep popping up on you. That's how you get some bleed through. And if you're working with really contrasting colors, that is going to be important. Here, since it's just a kind of an accent up underneath something else, it's a little bit more forgiving. And I gotta finish the bottom of this drawer.
And again, this is just a mixture of Endless Shore and Sunkist. a little bit more paint on it. Uh, important when you're mixing colors like this is about two parts uh, endless short or one part sun kissed when you are mixing colors you at least want to do if you're doing a dresser or something and you have you want to at least finish that drawer with a blend you are being awfully quiet uh, Elizabeth, thanks for joining me. Uh, what are y'all working on? Instead of me, me talking, uh, tell me what y'all are working on. This is a buffet uh, sat in, in our entryway for a long time. And it just needed an update. Alright, so by the time I Add my transfers, I mean my decoupage paper on the front, I think that's that Harlequin stencil and the stripes are going to be really pretty. And then as you open it up, you have the cherry blossom and uh, this is uh, a mixture of Harbor and Tide Pool and that's Tide Pool. And I have script here. So if I added script here to the front, I think it would be really pretty in either black or gold. Um, do y'all have any questions? Y'all being so quiet. All right. Well, I hope y'all learned something, especially with the ducky podge. Um, I do have another little tip. Um, here, if I didn't want this uh, black and white, uh, you're trying to figure out how to do hinges. hinges. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hinges are, are tricky. But a storage box sounds pretty cool. What colors are you going to do the storage box with? Uh, thanks, Beverly. So if I wanted to use a different color, like if I wanted to add some pinks, I would probably let's see a color that I have. I have Harbor right here. Do I have some water? Where's my spray bottle? Oh yeah, I do have a cup. Alright, so if I wanted to change colors up underneath. I could scoop some out. And it wouldn't take very much, just about that much blue. This is what I used on some of my stripes, a mixture. Let's 
see. Let me see if I have enough to demo here. This isn't going to stay on my piece, but I'll show you a little trick since we have time. All right, so. Put water right there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my silk. Cause we're gonna try to make it like a watercolor. So. Just a, some water with a little bit of silk there because I'm going to try to change the color up underneath my, my black and white here. Let's do a little bit more. So now when I go to attach that, I don't, it's not so black and white. There's a little bit of blue up underneath it. And all I did was just um, water down the color that I wanted up underneath. If I wanted it more solid, I could always paint a little bit more on top. But that's how you change the color. If I wanted to pick up some blues here, I could just kind of add a little bit. And you never have to take what you have. You can always customize it. So that's how I would change the colors if I wanted it to match more of what I already have. But I don't necessarily want that there. So let's clean that up. I guess I need a new little wipe. Well, I hope that uh, pictures, yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah, if you'll send pictures, that would be really cool. Uh, I love to see projects that you're working on. I feel like we all feed of each, off of each other. Um, you know, you have, you may be doing something really cool and I'm like, oh, that's so neat. I, I'm going to try something like, like this. And I feel like we kind of always customize what we see. Um, so yeah, it's a place and pics and, um, I'll keep you all posted on this. Thanks for joining me and I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks. Bye.